Hey everyone, it's Sydney here. So today I'm going to try something a little different. I figured I would do a relaxing version of this as we look through Sasha Velour's lookbook from season 9 of RuPaul's Drag Race. So for those of you who don't know, Sasha Velour won and um, when she was already guaranteed top 4, she came out with a lookbook of polished and perfected versions of every outfit that she wore on the show um, from a photo shoot. And when she won, uh, everybody who already had ordered them uh, had to wait many months. So I actually only got this a couple weeks ago because they added in photos of her from the finale taping and also the coronation. So. I'm going to show you what I received because I got a few little gifts in there too. So this is from Neverland Influencer Agency. I got sent this from the House of Allure. Wherever I got it from, it was um, in Chicago, Illinois. Pardon the glitter on my hands, I just did my nails tonight. <laughs> but that's the pin I received. I don't know if everyone got the same one or if um, it was random. But there's Sasha. And then her gloves, framing her face. Whoever designs her pins does a really beautiful job, in my opinion. And so they're nice and secure. They have two pins on the back. And I don't know if you can see between the two pins, but there is her signature eyebrow, eyes, and lips. I've seen that on her branding before. They really take it seriously, and I think that's so beautiful. Now, before I get to the book, here's a little card I received. It's got all these cool faces everywhere. And they remind you of Sasha, of her doggy, of <laughs> Nosferatu. And then you turn it around. And in the bottom there, it just says Sasha Valor. And then finally here we have the book. Surprisingly, it's bright green. I was not expecting that. And signature Sasha Valor on the bottom. And it almost looks like it's been handwritten. You can't tell, but it looks like it. I don't think it actually was, but who knows? And there's Sasha looking gorgeous at the coronation. If you guys don't know what the coronation is, it's where they actually get crowned because as we all know from my past videos, they film the finale in advance with outcomes of different people winning. And then the night of the coronation, which is where everybody meets up, usually in New York City, they will actually crown the queen and they will play the version of the episode where the right person wins. So this is what Sasha was wearing when she found out that she was America's Next Drag Superstar. I think it's beautiful. So we're going to go through the book, so you can see some of the photos. It's a very small book, but um, it's really, really pretty, and it's like very professional quality, and I'm super happy to own it. I hope I can get Sasha to sign it one of these days. Here's her entrance look from the first episode. It's so beautiful. I love this collar. And um, I know some people don't like the blue Aussie type glasses, but I think that they are the perfect pop of color in addition to the red lip. Because you know me, I love a black outfit with just a pop of color. <laughs> I think it's gorgeous. And I think it told us everything we needed to know about Sasha. Next outfit is Sasha in an art pop inspired look. Sorry, pop art. <laughs> This is her pop art inspired look. I think I sometimes get it mixed up because she did art pop and pop art for the first episode. So it's her hometown look. And I like that she was the one person from New York who didn't do the Statue of Liberty as their inspiration. Not that the Statue of Liberty isn't a great source of inspiration, but this was just a different way of going about it. 
because New York is the place where you get to see so much, yeah, pop art, and it's where Keith Haring would uh, make doodles on the uh, train maps. And I think that this is reminiscent of the subculture there. And then from Pop Art, we go to Art Pop. This, as you can see, is a more elevated makeup version of her Lady Gaga Art Pop piece. I think, um, I think this is so stunning. I almost like it better than Gaga's makeup because her eyes are defined really beautifully. So fun fact about Sasha, if you didn't know this from the show and show trivia, was that Sasha did not bring her reference picture of Gaga's Art Pop album. She had forgotten it. So unfortunately, she had to kind of go by memory. And that's why it maybe wasn't her best work, makeup-wise. Um, I would have loved to see what she would have done if she had the... Uh, within the time restraints, had the reference photo. But I think she did a great job. I think it you knew exactly what it was supposed to be. It was a great job from memory. And I like being able to see what the intended version looks like. Because it's quite stunning. And... I love the outfit she put it with. I like that she had the sheet with her and that she just wore black from head to toe. I would wear that. Next, we have her white party look. And I love the wig. <laughs> the hair is very beautiful. I love that it's a floor length dress, but it's very much like a three piece suit. Like, I almost feel like she's going to work. She's very Miranda Priestly esque, like a nice queen. I think she's beautiful. Okay, so we have the next look. This is her princess look, and I personally thought she should have placed in the top for that episode because she had the most well thought out garment of, um, no, sorry, she had the most well thought out storyline, and she had a really cute garment and cute um, concept for this headdress and the makeup. And it was a nice story of overcoming depression and um, anxiety, and I think um, that a lot of people can relate to that right now, so I wish that I'd gotten more attention. So here's the next look. This was her naughty 90s look, and of course she would do something that was um, Almost like Victorian. <laughs> I like the use of color. I like that it was different than everybody else's. And I like the color of this candelabra. I think it's perfect. <laughs> and yeah, it did remind me of when Max did Marie Antoinette, but um, I like this revamped version of it. I think you can really see how much went into it. Pardon the sirens, by the way, we actually live in an area or a neighborhood where the ambulances all come through. And then here's her Russian-inspired look. <laughs> Katya, eat your heart out. I do think it's beautiful. I think it's, um, this is one of my favorite looks of all time on all of Drag Race. I think it's perfectly cultural, but fashion forward. It's a beautiful nod to the Cossack outfit. 
but just done in her own way too. It didn't feel like a costume. It felt like her being herself and being proud of a culture she really loves. Look at all the detail work on, on this jacket. And the volume of the pants, the silhouette is so perfect. It's so bulbous, but it works. And her little dance at the end is very cute. And then another outfit that I adored <laughs> was um, this Madonna inspired one from Erotica. I thought it was a great silhouette and um, it was perfect for the theme. Clearly this is someone who understands Madonna's tone, Madonna's music. And look at that. Oh, I just love this outfit in general and thought it was just a really strong choice. I thought she should have won the Snatch Game personally or had a tie with Alexis because I did like Alexis's um, Liza Minnelli also. But I thought that this Marlena Dietrich was so unique. And it was a great Madonna outfit. Here's for the big hair don't care <laughs> runway. And I thought this look was so underrated. Now sure, it kind of turns out better um, in this photo than it does on the runway because the runway, you just see the person straight from ahead. So you don't really get to see, it's almost like they have a horn instead of seeing how beautiful the mohawk is. But I thought it was so, as they said, Sid and Nancy, I thought it was so like rock and roll, but like glamorous. I thought it was perfect. <laughs> and I want to know, I'm, I'm actually not sure if there was anything different here than on the runway, but I thought it was really cool. And I did not like that it got boots from Juju B and Raven because I want to be this girl. I think she looks really cool. And it's a perfect pose to show it off. Okay, so this look, which, again, another challenge I thought that Sasha should have won. I thought she should have won over Peppermint. Um, I know I'm saying that a lot. <laughs> I'm saying that a lot when I'm talking about this, but you know, there were other challenges where I thought people were super strong, but it's true. I thought that she brought her own voice to that roast. And I thought that, um, not that the others didn't, but I thought it was just so unique the way she went about it. And the outfit she wore was so funny, but so stunning. I mean, look at this combination. Uh, I mean, Peppermint looked really good during that night also, but We've just never seen anything like this on Drag Race. Which is funny because we see it in a lot of androgynous or like high fashion imagery, but Sasha was the one who brought it. It's so graphic. Anyway, I thought that was a great roast too. <laughs> and then we have this one, the club kid look. I like this a lot. But I have to say that with Sasha being such a club kid every day, I was almost expecting just a little more. But you know, it's okay because um, everyone was just trying to um, emulate a different part of club kid culture. And hers was the very literal, like, wacky clown type look. A little bit reminiscent of like Lee Bowery and those guys. I mean, and I'm I it's just off the tip of my tongue who this is supposed to actually be reminiscent of. But um I'm forgetting my references right now. But I think it's I think it's great though. I would have liked something a little bit crazier, but this is a good choice. And it's, again, very graphic. 
and a fantastic use of color. This is one of those looks where I didn't appreciate it as much on the runway, but now that I look at it photographed, I'm like, wow. This um, pride look, the rainbow look that she made, is so different from anything anyone would have done. I think it's so stunning. I am not really one who loves primary colors together usually. Sometimes I think it looks a little like Snow White or the Salvation Army logo, but seeing all these colors together done in this very curated way made me very appreciative and I thought that the idea of um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow and Dorothy's Home was very unique. It made me smile the way that um, Manila's pineapple dress makes me smile. Something very literal but glamorous about the whole thing is really makes for a special episode and I thought she should have won this this um that week's challenge as well even though Shay was really awesome too that's the thing though Sasha Valore really didn't get as much praise as she should have and maybe that's why she ended up winning who knows because you know there are so many contestants on reality shows that um, at least from our perspective, don't get as much recognition as they should be, and then they just go home where they place third. And maybe this is um, this is their way of showing that you never know what's going to happen on Drag Race, and that even though someone doesn't win all the challenges, that doesn't mean that they can't win the show. Switching it up. Now we have the unicorn look from that same episode. I just loved this when it came out on the runway. I thought the other unicorn looks, while they were cute, you know, like they made people look cute, they just, I don't think they grasped the challenge as well because none of them really looked like unicorns or like a full fleshed out idea. This was so majestic and look at the detailing on that. The choice in fabric, the choice in um, hardware, or the little I don't know, the accessories, the the furry sleeves, the boots, it's just all attention to detail that I thought was incredible. I don't like unicorns that much. <laughs> I was never really brought up. Um, adoring unicorn imagery, but this made me dream of being in a fantasy. And I think that says a lot. Now we have the final look from that episode. And again, I didn't really like this that much when I saw it on stage, and maybe this is why Shay won that episode, because hers, her outfit had more of a silhouette that you could see from across the stage or from the camera angle. And this was a little more subdued. But if you look at the detailing of the, the shoes of the two different tones of the cow print, and then you've got the beautiful detailing of the two contrasting fabrics on the, on the gloves. You've got the two different <laughs> contrasting red patterns of the handkerchief versus the vest and skirt. The solid red hat. I thought it was... When I saw it in this book and then from the photo shoot pictures, I thought it was such a beautiful silhouette and it made me want to be that girl. It made me want to grow my hair out to that length and wear a crazy hat and a vest and skirt combo like this because it is so fashionable. <laughs> she makes everything so chic and it's very perfect. 
And then finally, this is her finale look. You know, usually the finale looks are very um, disappointing to me. I think it's because everybody just tries to go like all Academy Awards in the end. And you know, I was a little disappointed that she wore the crown um, because, you know, she started off like that and she made so many big and um, bold fashion choices during the season that I thought ending on a note that was so similar to the first look was a little disappointing. Um, especially since we've seen a couple of these things before. We've seen the gloves, we've seen the makeup like this, we've seen the crown, and we've seen the teardrops, but I did think, though, overall, it was a great choice to be the last thing we saw her in on the show. Um, I like that it's all one color. It all goes. It's a beautiful silhouette. I love the detailing on the on the chest. Usually I don't like um, anything fluffy on the chest like that, but with this... I loved it. <laughs> and it's so funny, I, I would never think to put that jewel on the crown. But she did. And that's um that's how skilled she and her artist friends are really. Oh, and we have this one from the um from the reunion look. Sorry, from the reunion episode. <laughs> I thought this was such a cool look. <laughs> She kind of looked like the Statue of Liberty in this to me. So again, we have hair we've seen before, but it just goes so well with this. I'll, I'll give it a pass. I think it's a really cool look. It plays with volume in such a great way. The hair is perfect with it. Um, I love that they broke it up a little bit with this giant pin because they wanted statement earrings and the hair is already crazy so you can't really have a necklace and you can't really have like a belt that's crazy because then it'll cut it'll cut off like this um nice harmony between the jacket and the pants so the pin is just these people know what they're doing they know how to edit a look And then we have Sasha's beautiful look from the finale episode, like the real finale. We saw her get crowned in this outfit. I remember when this first came out, when I went to go see the finale live. She walked out in this and everyone was just so, so stunned. There's never been anything quite like it on Drag Race. and um. I love how it makes her look like Nosferatu, but also like real royalty. You know, that's the point. They're drag queens. They are queens. They are supposed to be confident and regal while they're being entertaining and funny and wacky. So I thought this was a great nod to the meaning of a drag queen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, here we go. <laughs> this is so emotional look. Look at that. So that's what she wore. It's very, almost like Lindsay Lohan looking, not the dress, but the hair. And I thought that, um, I thought it just really worked and I was not expecting her to have anything under that, that wig. <laughs> I mean, how do you compete with that? It was a great performance, and um, I'm glad that she showed that an artistic queen can also... Or not, not, that, not artistic, they're all artistic, but meaning like somebody who's really eccentric and really into like um, their unique look that they also know how to lip sync and know how to do traditional um, drag activities. <laughs> they have those basic drag skills. So thank you for proving that. Finally, 
Oh, actually, I was wrong. This is what she wore when she got crowned. Silly me. Um, yeah. Here's her cool outfit from her very last lip sync performance against Peppermint. I was so excited when I saw her come out with the mask. Because it's a beautiful mask. <laughs> so much detail work. And when she broke it in two and took it off her face, it was just... So fantastic. The silhouette was great. I love the detailing on the shoulders. I think, I think it was just the perfect shape to show that she's severe. Severe, but also sweet down here. And that's it. And here we have descriptions of each look. And then on the back of the book, it says, thank you, I love Sasha. And her look from the coronation again. With her scepter and crown finally firmly on her head. With um, beautiful eyebrow detailing in her glasses. I love this look, I think it looks nautical, regal, graphic, you know, and and very American. <laughs> it's like English, but also American. It's, you know, that's how I see it at least. And I think she'll do us proud as our reigning drag superstar this year. I'm excited to see what kind of stuff she comes out with. And I'm really excited to have shared this book with you guys today. That is what I received in my package. It's a really great... $15 spent. If you guys ever get anything from the Sasha Valor House of Valor website, the products are as you'd expect. They're great quality. Um, and they were very communicative with us about the fact that we would be getting our stuff in late. <laughs> so I think on a regular basis, they send out the stuff on time. But with us, because of the, her win, her, well, I was, I'm not... not <laughs> Not unexpected, I was going to say unexpected. We were expecting her to win. Um, but, you know, the turn of events set everything back a little bit. But I think they would have sent it to us on time and they surprised us with a pin that was not necessarily included. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was relaxing and... Let me know what you think about the book and what your opinions are on some of these looks in the comments. But thanks so much for watching today, you guys. I'll see you soon.